Do you actually look like your zodiac sign? Well, we are about to find out. What's up, guys? It's your girl, NT, here, and that stands for Natalia Tater. Tater. Tater tot. My new alter ego. Surprise, we are back on a Friday. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload a new video every single Monday and occasionally on Friday if I feel like it. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to turn on the bell icon because you'll get a notification when I post. I'm uploading a video next week, five reasons why it sucks to be a model. If you're interested, turn that button on. Okay, we're diving in. Today's video is all about zodiacs, horoscopes, dollar signs. I mean, <laughs> astrological signs. You probably already know your zodiac sign, but if you don't, here is a chart so you can know. This video was inspired by a video done by Safiya Nygaard, but this one is going to be a little bit different. We are going to see if we look like our astrological signs because as we all know, the internet loves their zodiac signs. If you look on the internet, you will see zodiac suitcases, zodiac makeup brushes, zodiac LED signs. So basically we will be going through all of these different categories that describe how you look, how you dress, how you smell, to see if you actually match your zodiac sign. And you can go ahead and do this along with me as we go along. I will be changing my own personal look to match my zodiac and see by the end how I feel, if I feel more like my myself or really uncomfortable. This video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a website that delivers to you your own custom fragrance based on your personality, including zodiac signs. I reached out to Scentbird and told them I was doing this video and they were kind enough to send me all 12 of their zodiac fragrances. They have one for each sign and we're going to be sniff testing them today. So as I smell each zodiac fragrance, I will do my best to describe to you what it smells like and you can let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would smell like or would want to smell like. Okay, first we have Gemini. Oh, oh, Gemini. Wow. It kind of has a sort of fruitiness to it. It's really, it's really fruity, but it's also kind of, kind of floral at the same time. You know, those Geminis, they got two sides to them. Aries. Ooh, spicy. Wow. Aries. Girl, you got to calm down. I like it, but it just smells like something really spicy that my Italian grandfather would wear, like something like from the mafia. Libra. Oh, I really like the color of the Libra one. Hmm. She's modest. Libra is, she's very modest, okay? She's fresh and clean, number one chick when she's stepping on the scene. Taurus. Oh, oh that smelled like alcohol, actually. <laughs> The Taurus fragrance smells like alcohol. No, I'm just kidding. But for real though, that smells really good. I really like the Taurus one. It smells like autumn. It smells like I am just cuddled up next to a fire roasting some marshmallows. Next up, Scorpio. Okay, girl. Um, we all have that one Scorpio in our lives. I just had to say it. I just had to say it. Ooh, Scorpio. Hmm. She's sexy. She's very sexy. She's very elegant. This smells high end. This smells expensive. You know those Scorpios, they be expensive as fuck, okay? Pisces. Hmm, Pisces. Pisces is very muted. It's very understated. It's subtle, okay? It seems very mature. Something about the Pisces seems very mature. Leo. Let's just say I'm scared of this one. We all have a Leo that entered our lives at one point. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh man, Leo. Yeah, that is totally Leo. Everything about it is in your face. It almost smells kind of cinnamony, very warm, very in your face, very in your face. I don't have any coffee beans, but I have this coffee and that is helping out. Okay, moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, chill. Wow, okay. That is very earthy. The Aquarius one is very earthy. It's, it almost smells like an essential oil. It is damn good. Capricorn. Ooh, that's very aqua. It smells like aqua de geo, if you know what I mean. It's very watery. I don't even know if Capricorn is a water sign, but it smells like the beach. Cancer! The way I just smiled when I said cancer. So I'm a cancer, hate the name, love the zodiac. If you grew up as a cancer, you know what I mean. So I'm actually going to apply this to myself since I am transforming into my zodiac today. Hmm. 
I like it. It's very sweet. It's kind of candy-like. It smells very fun and playful. I would say that this was a really good fit for me, actually. Two left. Virgo. You're a little musky, Virgo, I have to say. It's not a bad scent. It's just not a scent that I would be attracted to. Like I said before, it's kind of mature. It's kind of powdery. It smells like something that Marilyn Monroe would have wore. And last but not least, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. Sagittarius came in and she surprised me. She really did because, oh, oh, I lost the sneeze. I adore Sagittarius. It's very sweet. It's almost like so sweet, like a food. It smells like I want to eat it. I want to eat Sagittarius. Now that my house smells amazing, what did you think of your Zodiac fragrance? Did it accurately depict you based on my description? Shout out to Scentbird for sending me all of these wonderful Zodiac fragrances. You guys are the best. If you guys are interested in getting your own personalized fragrance at Scentbird, click the link down in the description. You can get a great discount using my personal discount code. All right, we are moving on to the next topic. Now that we smell like our zodiac sign, we have to look the part as well. So now we are going into zodiac signs for your hair. Here are the different hairstyles listed for each zodiac sign. Like I said before, I am a cancer, so I am up there in the top right corner. I have got an extremely difficult hairstyle. This is like a reverse backwards Dutch braid space bun. I guess I'm going to try my best to emulate that. Here we go. I need to get something to drink. I feel really lightheaded. Okay, wow, so here's my hair. I literally had to take a break because I almost died. Doing this hairstyle almost killed me. I had my head flipped upside down for like 15 minutes and I felt like I was going to pass out. So was it worth it? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't think I would ever wear this hairstyle with like the braids in the back again, just because it was so difficult for me to do that. Like I wanted to pass out. <laughs> but I will say space buns really do kind of fit my personality because they're super cute, but also so like not too cute where like I look like I'm trying to be a little kid, but it's like the perfect amount of balance and cuteness and I really do adore it. As far as my zodiac sign, I mean, so far so good, I would say. I felt good with my fragrance. I feel good with my hair other than wanting to die when I was doing it, but I would say it's time for makeup. So here are the Zodiac eye makeup looks. Once again, I am Cancer up in the top right hand corner. All of these are really pretty. It looks like mine though has an extremely long wing. The shadow looks like similar enough to what I already have on my eye. I'm just gonna keep my eyeshadow the same. I might put on a thicker eyelash and I'm gonna draw uh, some inner corner eyeliner and put a little glitter underneath my lower lid. So first I'm gonna make sure I can actually complete that look and then secondly, if I can, I'll see how I feel. Who knows, maybe I'll start doing my hair and makeup like this more often. Oh my gosh, I, I am just so stressed out right now. Why did mine have to have so much eyeliner? I have hooded eyes, so it's already difficult enough for me to make a winged eye without it looking completely stupid, but to make it that long, I'm nervous. We're gonna start small. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. I can fix it. Hmm, I'm surprising myself today. <sighs> so I have extended my wing. Wow, um, that looks actually really cute. I actually really like it. Now, the true scary part is <laughs> matching the other side. The right one looks so much better. Mr. Q-Tip, bring me a wing. Bring me a wing that I've never seen. Okay, now I'm gonna do my inner corner eyeliner. Okay, wow, I don't normally do that, but that really sharpened things up a lot. I actually really like this look. Could it be I am blossoming into my true zodiac self? They're after me. 
So what did you guys think of your Zodiac eye look? Um, I actually really like mine. I'm gonna be doing this a lot more often. Wow, this is a really enlightening experience. Are Zodiacs real? Now we are moving on to lip color. I really like a lot of these lip colors. Um, and then I saw mine. I'm really nervous about wearing this color. I have this color, but I never wear it because it's very dark. I, I am not a dark type of gal, but we're gonna go for it. What do you guys think? Do your lip colors match your personality? Um, we're gonna see. Okay. Okay, wow, that is dark. Um, I'm actually really surprised that they made Cancer's lipstick so dark. I like it, I don't hate it. I like the eye makeup more. I would say that the lip color is the most off from my personality, not really digging it, okay? So yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So next up on our list of features to match our zodiac sign, we have eye color. Looking at this, I would say there's really no way to change your eye color other than getting contacts, and I do not wanna get those contacts. Those are so expensive. But although now that I look at it, the cancer one is already my eye color. So weird coincidence, I think not. I think the stars be aligned and Next up, we will be doing tattoos. <laughs> Just kidding, oh, we're not doing that. Um, we're going to outfit. So here are the outfits that match your zodiac sign. I think all of them are cute, um, but I am the one with the sweater, the white sweater and the high-waisted jeans and the cute little belt. I don't have this outfit, so I have to go search for this outfit. I mean, realistically, all of these outfits are likable. Like, all of these outfits match everyone. They're all trendy, they're all cute, but we're just gonna go with it. I like mine because it's cozy, it's cute. I'm gonna try my best to go on a little adventure and find the closest thing that I can to this turtleneck and jeans. So because I obviously am not going to buy a full price brand new sweater for this video, I don't even know if I'm gonna like this outfit. So I decided to go to the thrift store. I figured it wouldn't be that difficult to find a regular white turtleneck sweater. Um, I'm just gonna get one here and save myself some money. I can complete the same exact look by getting something at the thrift store. Honestly, like nowadays, I have to like look really hard at the thrift stores. Like townies have been raiding the thrift stores. Like they're getting on it and I'm a little threatened by that. So I finally found a sweater that looked similar enough. I decided to get this one and I'm going to take it home and I just cut it up um, because the picture of the outfit for my zodiac sign, it looked like the sweater was cropped at the waist. So I just cut the bottom off of it. You guys know me. I just get a little scissor crazy. So this is my completed look for my zodiac sign. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this look matches my personality? Do you think I should be wearing this type of of stuff more often. I mean, I, f I really like it actually. I like the look um, because it's a little bit more, I don't know, nicer than what I normally wear. <laughs> Not nicer, but it feels classier than what I normally wear. I never wear cable knit sweaters really. I think that the sweater was supposed to embody the uh, comfortable part of my zodiac sign because cancers are known for liking comfort and home and coziness, which totally embodies me, totally embodies this outfit. I really do like it. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think that this outfit matches my personality for my zodiac sign, let me know. Did you try this along with me? Um, if so, do you think that your outfit, your look, matches your personality according to your zodiac sign? I would say that it was overall a success. It definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone and that's really ironic because cancers love comfort and peace. But I feel like now I'm more willing to experiment with my look a little bit more. Um, I definitely like this sweater that I got for $5. I would never normally reach for uh, a sweater like this and I would never normally wear glitter under my eyes with this big of a wing, but I do like it, I think. But shout out to to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for sending me those wonderful fragrances for all of the zodiac signs. Make sure you check the link down in the description. If you're interested in getting your own personalized scent from Scentbird, use this code for a great discount. Also, let me know if you look like your zodiac sign. I would be really interested to hear if any of this stuff lined up for you guys. But once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, day. Bye!